One of the crucial elements in keeping our hospitalization numbers manageable is effective contact tracing. It's not a new concept, but it is labor intensive and can be expensive to hire the hundreds of people needed to do the job properly. ONR's Ed Murray reports on what contact tracing is and how it's working in Oklahoma. Do you have difficulty breathing? Okay, do you have any loss of smell or taste? A positive test followed by a phone call. It's the start of the contact tracing process. And so if that positive test is associated with you having symptoms, then we want to go back in time to at least a couple of days before you had symptoms and identify all of the individuals with whom you had an effective contact. Effective contact is within six feet for about 10 minutes, not a casual walk by at the store. And so contact tracing gives us the ability to pinpoint where the virus is spreading, um, if it's a household, if it's a business, if it's an event. In the absence of a vaccine, uh, contact tracing is one of the only tools that we have as public health professionals to slow and reduce the spread of COVID-19. Contact tracing is one of the oldest, most effective control measures and has been used with numerous infectious diseases. As an example, in the 1930s, it was actually used for uh, efforts to reduce transmission of venereal diseases among American troops. And, uh, you know, of course, at that point, we had less uh, efficacious treatment. And so it was absolutely essential that we, we control that, uh, that transmission. And the state currently has around 350 professionally trained tracers, but could add hundreds more over the next few months. And that first contact will always be by phone. The only time that you may uh, have someone actually physically um, come to you as a contact investigator, that's if we have exhausted all other means of contact and we cannot reach you, you're not calling us back, but that is extremely rare. Um, during this pandemic, I only know of that happening one time so far. Legitimate contact tracing is, is never gonna seek to violate that person's uh, own individual privacy or uh, things that we have no business being involved in, right? And so we, we're not gonna inquire about social security numbers, bank accounts, uh, anything like that. We're only going to inquire as to their contacts and where they've been, and, uh, and then we're going to provide them guidance and suggestions in terms of following up with their health care provider or their health department or so on and so forth. We really want individuals to understand that, that contact tracing isn't scary, okay? Um, it, it simply is, it, it's a great tool for us. But most polls show people are at least wary when an app is added to the process. The workplace social network site Fishbowl recently surveyed more than 17,000 people. The question, would you use a device or app that allows your company to trace your contact with other employees while at work? 75% said no. Tech company employees were the most negative, while Oklahoma was tied with South Carolina and Louisiana, just behind Florida's 80% no response. Hi, I'm Mariella. I'm Esma. I'm calling from the County of San Diego's Public Health Department. How are you? California is considering an app using Bluetooth that would store data when a positive patient's phone comes into close contact with other phones, raising worries of potential misuse. We are all too familiar with the, uh, the norm that government faced with a crisis seizes new surveillance powers, and when the crisis abates, they keep those surveillance powers. Both Taylor and Knighton say an app for Oklahoma is in the works, but one that will be opt-in for text messages for symptom checks and guidance. But we're not looking at some of the more uh, robust technologies that you would see uh, that actually look at contact tracing through uh, GPS, Bluetooth or cellular signals or those kind of things. The old fashioned way, the telephone calls, it's working really well. And, and generally, um, Oklahomans have been really receptive and, and understanding um, to providing information to us to help mitigate the spread. And that's what's most important. The key right now is don't become overly confident that you're no longer at risk. Our people have immense power to control transmission of this, uh, of this disease. And so if we wear masks, if we social distance appropriately, if we take prudent measures in terms of um, sanitation and disinfection of surface contacts and those kind of things, 
uh, I believe that we can have reasonable uh, activities and interaction with individuals with, with manageable risks. The state health department has put together a fact sheet on contact tracing under resources at coronavirus.health.ok.gov. Ed Murray, the Oklahoma News Report.